So thanks once again for dropping by the channel. If you like the content, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe, share the video if you enjoyed it, if you felt it was useful. Now let's get into this. So, oh boy, I wasn't expecting this at all. If this escalated quickly, Tony Yoka knocks out Johan Dupas in the first round, less than 90 seconds, right? I was lucky to get a stream, like literally, right? I was reading my book here. Uh, and my friends influence people give this a read it's a great book but I was sitting here reading that while I had the car going on in the background because I couldn't understand the commentators and this fight on the main event was the only fight that I was really keen on and given the fact that there's a time difference of an hour between France and Ireland and the UK I wasn't sure what time this fight would be on at because it's currently what 9.30pm in Ireland so I found that the main event was starting I was thinking right to get the stand set up we're, we'll be going at this a while no, this is a this is a long fight. You know they're both in this for the long haul. A yoke came out swinging. I mean he was pushing and leaning on Duapas a bit as the referee warned him very early on for that. But from early on you could tell that Tony Yoke he wasn't playing around in there. He wasn't looking to go through the motions of box. He was throwing right hands from the get go. And Yoan Duapas we know very very tough, very durable. All right, we've seen that the man went eleven runs with Deontay Wilder was stopped on his feet. Never hit the ground in that fight. Now, he did go down against Pavekin, as we all know, he was knocked out cold against Pavekin. He took that fight on one day's notice. He was there in Russia as a fan, and Pavekin was juiced up on all kinds of stuff. I think it was Osterine and probably other stuff, because he looked like an absolute, he looked like, you know, a man who was on you know what. He looked like a gladiator in there. And, um, you know, that you, you can't look at that and say that's a reflection of, of how much better Pavekin is um, in terms of you know, stopping a guy because he knocked this guy out cold while they couldn't. Not a reflection. But Dupa didn't look in bad shape. I think he was 239, which is in around his normal fight weight. And, you know, he had adequate time to prepare for this fight. Tony Yoka had him down twice in the first round. And the first knockdown was from a right hand. He was landing, like, overhand rights on Johan Duapas. And Duapas went down. He went down in the corner. He looked bust. He looked hurt. You know, people have said that Yoka... Even through his amateur days, he's not really a puncher. Well, he's he's getting rid of durable guys. Let's me forget, like, this is a guy who got rid of Dave Allen, gave Dave Allen a terrible beat in their fight two years ago. And really, if Yoka had stepped on the gas in that fight, he could have got Dave Allen out of there way earlier than he did. And, you know, I think even Dave Allen said that Tony Yoka hit harder than Luis Ortiz. Now, Yoka obviously has had his issues with, um, you know, drug testing, it's fair to say. But even still... Yoke in this fight, um, obviously it's nothing to do with this fight, but Yoke in this fight, I'm just going back to the fight. Duapas got back up, Yoke went right to work. He was not letting up in there. And there was fans in this fight, which was nice to see. He was not letting up on Johan Duapas. He was going in, he dropped him down with an uppercut and the referee waved it off. Now, Johan Duapas definitely disputed the decision. Mm. He was, mm. yeah, I, I could see why he stopped the fight. At the end of the day, the right was on the wall. I mean, this fight was not going to last long. I mean, really, I, I, I genuinely expected this fight to go around, probably even to points. Uh, an early stoppage, conceivable, but within the first 90 seconds, really? We got to watch this Tony Oka guy. You know, we got to watch him. You know, this is what his... I don't have his box rec, you know, to hand because I'm, I'm using my spare iPhone, which is dead, as a bookmark. But I'm sure he's something like 6 and 0 or 7 and 0. To going in there and getting a first round knockout over Johan Duapas in a round, like 90 seconds or less than 90 seconds actually, that's impressive, people. That's, that's impressive. I'm definitely going to be taking more notice of Tony. Well, I was already taking notice of him, but he's definitely making me, every time he fights, he looks just looking better and better. And this right here, I'm, I'm very impressed because as people have said, you know, people did question his punching power. You know, Joe Andupas, or Joe Andupas, he went 12 rounds with Jarrell Miller back in 2018, I think it was. Yeah, 2018. Went 12 rounds with the guy. And Jarrell Miller, God knows what he was on back in 2018 because I don't think he was being VADA tested. This is a durable guy. This is a guy who's only been stopped late or has been stopped taking a fight on, not even a fight. You know, that, that was a, a circus act. But this was a legit fight. Stopped in the first round by Tony Oka. You know, like I said, there's not much to talk about because the fight was less than 90 seconds, but surprise me. 
And I'm sure that there are a lot of people out there who bet money on Yoka to win by stoppage, but they weren't betting on it to win in the first round. I'm sure if anyone did place a bet on Yoka, I would have loved to have seen the odds, but what it was at a first round knockout for Yoka, I'd say it was long. So if anyone did put some money down, I mean, you know, fair play, I give you a round of applause. Well done for that. So yeah, those are my thoughts on this. Um, let me know yours down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do you, like me, rate Tony Yoka? I've always rated him, but I've just not, I've not done any videos on him really. But I've always rated him, but... He is making me, um, he's making me stand up and take notice. Damn. So let me know your thoughts down below on this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe. Of course, if you are new to the channel, remember, smash the like button. It really does help the channel out. I appreciate it all. Appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. Um, you know, it's, it's this little ball, this little thing is snowball on this channel. You know, we're getting there. You know, we're getting there. So anyway, appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. Peace out, people. I will talk to you.